Oh, good evening, YouTube. It is a wonderful Wednesday evening. It's beautiful outside, and therefore it's beautiful in the shop. Uh, I've got all of my, my chores done. My yard work is all finished, and um, I've even burned the, the ridiculous tree carnage that happens on this property constantly. So you can see the remnants of that from last night. But I am going to turn my attention to the shop this evening. And um, we are going to be making a bowl for my wife. Um, she saw this latest bowl that I made. This guy right here. This turned out really good. I'm just so happy with this. It is a zebra wood um, little feature here where I kept the segments in order as I, as I cut them and then glued them together with the grain intact, more or less, right? Um, really, really cool. Um, so I've been requested um, to make a, a vase, actually, not a bowl. I think I said a bowl a minute ago, but she wants a vase. Something, um, something a little bit taller, maybe about, uh, about like this urn right here, uh, you know, 12 inches or so. We'll see. Uh, it's actually going to wind up being as tall as it winds up being uh, based on, on a lumber that I've got. Um, and I'll explain that as I go here. But, um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do uh, is I'm just going to start pumping out rings and um and start assembling this 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 vase on the lathe i have already turned a uh, piece of walnut to act as the base for this uh you know i get all kinds of little little five inch cutoffs and that's what i use i just kind of grab the prettiest ones i can and those become bases for uh, bowls and vases so uh so yeah let's do it let's make a vase i'm going to uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to film this uh, this afternoon, this evening, um, what time is it? It is yeah, six o'clock. I just finished dinner. Um, you can see I've already gotten started. So, uh, these are the first two rings. Um, the interior wood that I'm using here is coffee wood or coffee bean, I think is what it's called. And, um, and then of course on the outside, we've got the tiger wood that has been <clears throat> grain matched and, uh, and I am just doing sort of a linear progression each ring is just going to be exactly as much bigger as the previous one uh, to give me a, a nice linear uh, edge. I've been doing a lot of fair curves and I, I like that, but for this one, I want it to be um, linear. So that's what I'm gonna do because I do what I want. There you go. All right, let's get to it. Let's make a vase. All right, so while I rip this stuff down into uh, strips for my segments, uh, I guess I'm going to ramble a little bit, uh, catch up with you guys, tell you what's going on, what I'm thinking. Um, uh, so let me talk a minute about the YouTube channel. I've not been very uh, consistent with my posts. Uh, and of course they tell you you have to be consistent if you want to build an audience and so on and so forth. I don't know. I don't know if I want to build an audience. I don't know if I want to have that that uh, yoke around my neck, right? To feel like I constantly have to post. Um, and so I'm kind of trying to take it easy. I'm not... Uh, I'm not going that route, um, but yeah, I really do enjoy creating the videos. It's a, it's, it's another, it's another part of my, my artistic outlet. And so, um, I'm still going to do it every once in a while, but I just don't want to feel like I'm a slave to it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with that right now. But as far as the YouTube channel goes, you know, I, I really do need to decide what I want it to be. Here's the way I feel about YouTube. There's there's two major groupings of content creators. There's uh, folks out there who are trying to create how-to videos, uh, and they're capturing the the audience that that logs on. They do a quick search for the thing they need to learn how to do, and then they go learn how to do it. That's that's one kind of consumer. That's one kind of video. And I'm I'm that type of consumer quite often. But I'm also, uh, I also enjoy watching videos that are just, a, I don't know, a day in the life of somebody who's not me. Uh, I like those kind of character studies. I like the, uh, the vlogs, right? And so and that's what I enjoy watching. Um, so I kind of have to decide, you know, what am I? If, if I'm gonna continue making videos, am I, uh, am I doing how-to videos on how to how to turn vases and, and bowls? I don't think that's probably what I should do because I'm pretty new at it. And while I think I may be able to inspire folks um, and and show my ideas, uh, I don't know that I'm a how-to kind of guy. 
I think I'm more of a I'm more of a vlogger, and I don't know if there's a market for that, but yeah, you know what? That's what I'm going to create. That's why I'm sitting here blabbing to you right now while I while I make a vase because this is kind of the this is the kind of content I like to watch, and so I want people to come to my channel who uh, like the things I like. Eh, you know, again, I'm selfish. I do what I want. So um, yeah, that's what the YouTube uh, gurus tell you not to do that. They tell you don't create the content you want. Create the content that, you're, um, that your audience wants. And I say screw that because you know I'm the one putting all the effort into this. Um, I'm going to make what I want. So there. I tell you what I've really been getting into lately is, uh, is Instagram. It's, it's, it's a platform that I've never paid a whole lot of attention to. I've, I've had an account for a long time. And, um, and, and I've posted things there for, for quite a while, but I've never really paid any attention to it. I've never tried to grow any kind of following or anything like that. And uh, I was talking to my sister the other day and asking her advice on how I might grow that. And she said, well, just follow other people who have the same interests as you and they'll follow you back. And that's kind of how you do it. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I went out there and I started doing that and holy cow, there's a lot of woodworkers out there. I mean, there's a lot of people um, doing, you know, bespoke, you know, craftsmanship and, you know, hobbyist and trying to start businesses. And it's, it's a vibrant community. Um, and I really, really enjoy it. Um, I've, I've, I love my stream on Instagram now. It's, it's full of inspiring projects and, and uh, interactions with other creators and, and makers. And yeah, I, I just think it's cool. So uh, and to be honest, it's it's a little less effort than YouTube. Um, there's no you know pouring over the, the editing and, and, and everything else. You just you take a picture, you post it, and you interact with people. I, I kind of dig it. Um, so yeah, if you want to check me out on Instagram, um, it's Scott Mueller Woodworking, uh, just like the YouTube channel. All right then, I think that's going to wrap it up for the evening. I am, uh, I'm going to settle down and, and watch some TV. Uh, I don't really watch TV, I watch YouTube. Uh, someone watch some YouTube and uh, maybe play some chess. But uh, I'm done with the workshop. Uh, poured myself a glass of wine uh, and, uh, and I'm, I'm done. So, got a, got a fair amount done. Uh, let's see, we got, uh, oh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight rings uh, glued up. Um, I, I did the math um, and it, it looks like I'm probably gonna wind up with about eh, 24 rings or so um, before I run out of, out of wood. And so, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a really nice face. Uh, I'm excited to do it. Um, I'm also anxious to see how you guys feel about this uh, style of video where I do a um, part one, part two, part three. Uh, I'm literally gonna go over there and edit this and, and throw it up. Um, I, it's, it's not gonna be a, a, a fancy production or anything, but um, you, know, you know, let me know, uh, comment, and uh, you know, give me a like, whatever. Uh, communicate back to me that you do or don't, uh, don't appreciate the content, and I'll know what to or what not to make more of. Um, there you go. All right, thanks guys. I'll talk to you next time.